it's actually been a long while since I did a video regarding ship controls. They have changed quite a bit over the years, and everything I have made regarding this topic is definitely out of date. So let's start with the mouse and keyboard basics. Once you sit on the pilot seat, no matter if it's a big ship or a small ship, the first thing you will need is the U key to turn on the user interface and I key to turn on the engines. User interface will also power up your shields and engines will allow you to fly your ship. So how do you take off from the hangar? You hold down the left alt key and press N. You can do this uh, quickly several times if it does not interact for the first time. This is your shortcut to contacting the landing control. You can also do this via the communications tab which you can find on your ship or you can just press F1 and look for the comms tab and landing services. If you want to go into the third person view while you're inside your ship, press the F4 key and you can hold down the F4 key and scroll to zoom in and out and hold down the set key to just look around your ship as you are in third person. If you have taken off, definitely pull in the landing gear. That is the end key. If the landing gear are down, your ship will suffer certain limitations to its movement. If you also have a big ship or a ship which has thrusters, pressing the K key will position them from position A to position B and backwards. Uh, thrusters usually are ideal if you want to take off, they are better at going, for example, upwards and then you want to change them to their flight position which allows you to move uh, faster when you are already in the air. Now the controls themselves are quite straightforward. Uh, space is up, control is down, WASD is your movement, Q and D is your spin. And of course you look around with your mouse. We also have the brake which is X and you can also use your boost to increase your braking speed or you can just try going reverse and hitting the boost. Now if you've taken off you may have noticed you're not really moving that fast. You need to use your mouse scroll to increase or decrease your speed. This will allow you to move faster and it's a bit more important for maneuvering if you're in a tight spot but most of the time you will be moving at your maximum speed. You may have already noticed that you have weapons. Most ships have more than one type of weapon and one type of gimbals. So both the left and right mouse buttons can be weapons. With ship's weapons we also want to note targeting, which is the T key. This will target onto the ship you are looking at the possible target you can lock on to fire missiles at and such things. You can hold down the T key to clear your target and you can use certain number keys to swap between your targets. If you want to swap to rockets, you press the middle mouse button. This will swap onto the rockets and pressing it again will swap into scanning mode. And it will swap between these three different modes. So the rockets mode. Rockets, as you may have noticed, you only have one at the ready if your ship does have rockets. You can press the G key while the rockets mode is active to load in or lock in more rockets. These missiles cannot be fired at point blank range as they do need a bit of distance to lock on to targets. Our ships also have certain countermeasures to counter rockets, like the flare and chaff. Flare is the H key. You usually have 50 flares and holding down the H key will load in several of them. These are most effective against infrared rockets. So once you release it, you can launch from 1 to 50 flares. You do have only 5 shafts, which are intended to break uh, the lock between you and the rocket. There are several exceptions to these, which I'm not really gonna go into because the rockets and missiles and signatures themselves are a whole nother big topic. Okay, so the navigation mode. You enter navigation mode by holding down the B key. This will swap your mode and will allow you to either use quantum travel or navigation mode just to move around. If the quantum travel markers are bothering you, press the middle mouse button as it will hide them. You will also need to scroll up to your new maximum speed. And you also may want to use the cruise control, which is alt left plus C. Now, if you press the C regularly, without uh, holding down ALT, you will enter decoupled mode. This does offer cruise control to an effect, but it's uh, 
most efficient in certain combat scenarios where you want ship to keep moving in one direction while you want to turn around, look around what is going on around you, perhaps far behind you or other positions of that sort. It is not very important, but it can be used by skillful players to try and avoid certain combat areas while maintaining their movement direction. In navigation mode, once you are using the quantum travel, you need to look onto a target, it will spool in and do its adjusting, after which clicking the left mouse button will start traveling to that position. Ideally, you do want to use map if you're traveling longer distances as you can set up your route a bit better since all of the locations may not appear and it may be a bit hard to navigate at first. There are a whole other list of uh, keys and buttons we can use on a keyboard to manage our ship. Tab for pinging. This will allow us to see certain objects of interest which may be nearby which have a signature. Perhaps it's a destroyed ship, a mineral deposit or something similar. We can also enter scanning mode with V. We can hold down the F key to look around our ship and interact with the buttons. We can hold down the set key to look around. We can press G key to free our gimbal mode, allowing us to look around and our gimbaled weapons to look at the direction we are looking while holding down the set key to allow us firing out of our, out of their fixed position. We can use right alt plus K to unlock ports so we can remove weapons and components. There is a long list of keys which we can use and which will change uh, certain aspects of our ship. We can turn off shields with O, we can turn off weapons with P. We can manage uh, our shields, if you have big shields, with numbat keys. There are just so many controls and everything that I have shown I have also left down in the description. You can also check the key binds in the options menu as that covers a lot more. But these are some of the main things that I do use. Not all of them are important or even needed to know, but I tried to go over the main ones as best I could. There is uh, just so much more if we would go into every simple detail which we do not need to know, like for example O and P, managing also your shields, turning them on and off and weapons as well, swapping between your targets with the uh, number keys 6, 7 and 8 I believe, and other extra keys which we don't really need to know, need to use. I hope this gives some insight to the ship controls, ship keys and what we can use. Some of these actions can also be done from uh, the pilot seat while holding down the F key and looking around and managing the buttons which you find there, but most of the tools are still there on your keyboard. The joysticks have their own special keys and different joysticks do have different layouts so going into that would make this even longer, bigger and more complex. But I do hope this gave some insight. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe and thanks for watching.